Hello dear children welcome back in this video we will discuss lesson number 3 of living english that is come back mr sun let's begin well in the story one day mr sun decided to have some fun what do you think he does let's read and find out it is sunday morning Mr Sun looks down from the sky. Mr Sun said, "I don't feel like shining today. I wish to rest. I think I'll take a holiday." So the time was Sunday morning and Mr Sun did not felt like shining that day. He thought to take a holiday and have some rest. Then Mr Sun goes away from the sky. It gets dark. First squirrel said, "Why is it so dark?" Where is Mr Sun? Second squirrel said, "I feel afraid. Something is wrong. Let's go home." Both rushed to their home in the hollow of a tree. So as Mr Sun went away, it got dark. Then first squirrel wondered that why is it too dark? Where is Mr Sun? On hearing this, second squirrel got afraid. Afraid means having or showing fear. and both of them went to their homes that is in a hollow of a tree hollow of a tree is a large hole in the trunk of a tree all right then plant said where is mr sun i cannot make food without mr sun how will i grow as you know plants make their food from sunlight also so plant is also wondering about the disappearance of the sun Then pigeon said to her chicks that dear babies it is dark outside i cannot get food for you today so the mother pigeon told her babies that she is unable to feed them today as it is dark everywhere then all the women men and children stop whatever they are doing they are scared they rush to their homes then girl said mr sun can't take a holiday i have a football match today on this boy said what will happen now please come back mr sun okay on seeing dark all around everybody rushed to their homes they stopped whatever they were doing a girl was little annoyed with mr sun as she had a football match that day then a boy wondered and pleaded that mr sun pleaded to mr sun to come back okay moving on it becomes very quiet on earth everything comes to a standstill however mr snow is very happy snow said now mr sun cannot melt me i'll make the earth cold as nobody was out so everything was too silent on earth everything came to a standstill standstill here means stop everything stopped but above everything someone was very happy that is mr snow because no mr sun is not there to melt him right he thought to make the earth cold it gets it gets very cold it begins to snow the water in the ponds lakes and rivers freezes earth said oh dear i hope mr sun comes back soon after some time mr sun looks down to see what everybody is doing he is shocked mr sun said oh everything has come to a stop i must shine again so as snow began to fall water in the ponds lakes and rivers freezed on seeing this earth started hoping that if mr sun could come back as soon as possible then after some time mr sun thought to have a look at everyone and on seeing the scenario he was shocked shocked here means surprised and sad 
and Mr. Sun decided to shine again. Then, slowly Mr. Sun comes out. Mr. Snow feels hot and goes away. The flowers begin to smile. The pigeon finds food for her chicks. The squirrels begin to jump and play. Women, men and children come out of their homes. The girl goes to play football. Everyone was happy. So, as the sun came out, snow disappeared and everything came back to normal. Everyone came out of their homes. The little girl went to play football. Everyone was really happy. Well, this is all about the story, children. Hope you enjoyed it. So, from the story, we should learn that everything in the nature have it's important have an important role in our lives as well as to make a balance of everything if one thing gets disturbed it will it will definitely have a major impact on the other things as well and slowly all things in the world will also get imbalanced right now moving on to the back exercise in part a you have to fill the blanks from the given box. Mr. Sun did not feel like shining. He wished to rest. Then, when Mr. Sun went away, it, beca it became dark. The water in the ponds and rivers froze. Everyone rushed to their homes because they were scared. Then, when Mr. Sun came out, Mr. Snow went away. Okay, moving on to part E. In part E, you have to describe the movements of the given animals with the help of hints from the box. First one is horses. So, movement of horses will be called gallop. Then ducks. Movement of ducks will be called swim. Snakes, slither. Rabbits, hop. Birds, fly. And butterflies, flutter. Okay. Then in part F, you have to join two words to make one meaningful word. And write them in the blanks given at the right. First one is thunder. It will be matched with storm. The full word will be thunderstorm. Then, sun will be matched with light. It will become sunlight. Snow will be matched with flake, snowflake. Then, spring with time, springtime. Rain will be matched with fall. It will be rainfall. Okay, moving on to part G. Here you have to See the pictures and fill in the missing letters to make a word ending with I, C, E and A, W. First one is rice, then straw, mice, draw, claw and dice. Now, in part H, it is related to punctuation marks. Instead of rewriting these sentences, just make correction on the top of incorrect words, like so. You have to use capital letters and full stops as well. First, Mr. Sun decided to take a holiday. Here, S of Sun will be capital, as it is a proper noun. Then, it became and after holiday, there will be a full stop also, because the sentence is over here. Then, it became very cold and dark. New sentences beginning, that's why I of it will be capital. Then, after dark, there will be a full stop. Similarly, try to correct rest of the paragraph yourself. Move on to part I. Here, you have to circle the verbs or action words in the given sentences. Verbs are the words that describe actions or state of being. In the first sentence, Sina plays hockey. Here plays is the action word. Then grandfather goes for a walk in the morning. Goes is an action word here. 
The mouse ran up the clock. Run is a verb. Mona enters the room. Enters is a verb. The stars twinkle at night. Twinkle is a action word. Okay. Moving on to part J. Now part J, K and L is related to present and past tense. In part J, just look at the pictures and fill the blanks using verbs in present tense. As per the rule, if the subject is singular, then verbs ending with S or ES is used. And if the subject is plural, verbs without S or ES is used. First one is, Arzu plays badminton every evening. Here, Arzu is singular and in the picture she is playing. So, we will use plays over here. Fine. Then, Nancy sings sweetly. Noor crosses the road carefully. Okay. In part K, fill the blanks with past tense forms of verbs in the box. Past form of hide will be hid. The cat hid under the bed. Then Dia danced joyfully. Past form of dance will be danced. Then past form of jump will be jumped. Peter jumped over the hurdles. Okay, then in part L, write past forms of underlined words. Wash will be washed. Lives will be lived. Cook will be cooked. Plays will be played. And drinks will be drank. Okay. Then part M and N is related to helping verbs. In part M, you have to fill the blanks with is, am and are. Let us recall that with... Okay. With... The helping verb is is used with the pronouns he, she, it and singular. Okay. In the first example, I am Rohan. I am five years old. With I, we use am. Okay. So, helping verb is is used with he, she, it and singular. And helping verb R is used with we, they, you and plural. And helping verb I am is used with I. Second one is this is my sister Rina. She is in class 3. Here we are talking about Rina. This is singular noun. So that's why we are using is over here. Okay, try to do rest of the parts yourself. Then in part N, you have to fill the blanks using was and were. You should remember, was is used with I, he, she, it and singular. Whereas, were is used with we, they, you and plural. Okay, it was a rainy day. Mohan and I was alone at home. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. I was scared. But Mohan was not. Mohan walked to the door, but I hid behind the sofa. Suddenly, we heard a friendly voice calling out. It was Aunt Uma. We were thrilled and ran to open the door. Okay. Now... Part P will be your homework. You have to write the words that rhyme with the given words. Well, that's it for this video, children. Hope you enjoyed and understood the lesson. Thank you.